છે હાય એફ્રન મનેમ આમ ડોક્ટર જોન એન્ડ સે વોન્ટ શે આઉસ યુ અબાઉટ ઇ ધ કોન્સેપ્ટ ઓફ બાયો અવેલેબિલિટી ઓકે બાય સ્ટાર્ટિંગ ઓન ડિફાઇનિંગ વોટ ઇઝ બાયો અવેલેબિલિટી અવેલેબિલિટી is defined as the fraction of the administered drug reaching the systemic secretion as intact drug when you say intact drug it means it still as it was in origin when it was administered in any routine also by another definition you can say bioavailability yeah, is the fraction of unchanged drug reaching the systemic secretion following administration by an rt uh, for this case uh, for administration of drug we have different routes we have all routes we intravenous routes uh, we have intramuscular routes uh, subcutaneous routes and intradermal routes so it is dependent by an route that you will administer drug so mm, bioavailability is highly dependent on both the route of administration and the drug formulation <coughs> as i have told you that we have different routes that we can administer drug we have intradermal routes we have uh, intravenous routes we have all the routes okay it depend on an route and uh, also the bioavailability depend on the drug formulation the drug can be either in a liquid formulation or in solid formulation or in suspension um for example drug that are given in intravenous a bioavailability a uh, drug that are given in uh, intravenous have a bioavailability of 1 or 100% why this is because the whole dose leads to the systemic secretion of the intact drug because when you administer uh, such drug to a patient you administer them direct to the venous or to the systemic secretion so the whole drug leads to the systemic secretion and then uh, you may find that the whole drug uh, is found in the systemic secretion <coughs> uh for uh, another case you will substitute tenas intravenous or lecto and other extravascular loads of administration require that the drug require that the drug be absorbed first which uh, this can reduce the bioavailability hence bioavailability of these loads will be less than one before when you administer a uh, drug on the loot other than the intravenous uh let's say subcutaneous intramuscular all or lecto and other extravascular routes uh the first thing in that uh, drug <coughs> is handled within the body is the admin is, is about the absorption so during the absorption uh, the absorption of drugs differ in different parts of the body and uh, we saw that uh, bioavailability depend much on how the drug is absorbed so uh if you use this route other than intravenous obviously there obviously if not all drug that will be absorbed to reach the systemic secretion so you will find that uh, by availability of these of each of these routes will be less than 1 or 100% consider the graphical presentation below about the by availability let us say uh let's say on a <coughs> let's say uh, i'm starting on interpretation of the drug a as you see uh, this is this is is drug drug a for the case of drug a a drug a as you see from the graph is lapid and complete available the tmtc means the target concentration of the drug that is required within the systemic circulation so you for the case of drug a you may uh, you may find that it is 
the drug is rapid and complete available. But for the case of uh, drug B, drug B, uh, this one, this is a, a graphical presentation for drug B. You may find that only half of, uh, of availability of A, but let it be equal to A. You see, the, as we have seen that this is drug A and this is drug B, so you may find that the extent from uh, the graph of drug B is half from that of the A. So we may say that only half of availability of A, and but the rate will be equal to what to B. Or oh, when you come to drug C, drug C is complete available. When you say complete available, it means it reaches. Uh, when you say uh, the drug is completely uh, available, one other meaning means that it has reached the target, the target concentration. So we say it is available. And the, uh, that extent that w w was planning to administer into the into the systemic circulation is available. That's why we say it's completely available. If it's if it's really it will reach or it will be above this level but you may find that for the drug b it hasn't it has not reached this this uh this level so it's not complete available uh only half of availability of a but for drug b for drug c is complete available but let only half of a you see uh, this is c and it's let it will be uh, uh for the let we will see uh you see this one this is the drug c above the target concentration and this is the drug a so the rate of drug uh, c is half to that of the a and uh, <coughs> this is a wall is called the blood concentration curve uh, that is illustrates about the uh, rate of absorption and the extent of variability uh, of the drug and, uh, the area under the blood concentration time curve AUC is proportional to the extent of the bioavailability for a drug if its elimination is of first order. As we have said that for one intravenous dose of the drug bioavailability is assumed to be equal to unity. It means equal to one. But for a drug administered orally or in a way uh, its bioavailability will be less than one. Let's say for the oral uh, administered drug, its uh, bioavailability will, will be less than one. one. Why? There are two main reasons. You know, the first one is the incomplete extent of absorption across the gut wall and the first pass elimination by the liver. Mm, uh, first the first pass elimination by the liver or metabolism or concept, uh, this is the even that occur when the drug first passes through the liver after it has been uh, after it has been administered within the body so it has to pass first through the liver for other metabolism to take for other metabolic processes to take place in the liver such as oxidation and uh, uh, other things so it should be so and it can be distributed to the others sides of the body okay bioavailability which is uh, generated as f is equal to the by mathematically equal to the amount of drug enters systemic circulation over the administered dose uh, but we, as we have seen from the graph interpretation above the amount of drug that enters systemic circulation or the amount of drug that are by that is available in the systemic uh, circulation is equal to AUC area under the curve. Hence, to uh, hence in short, variability is equal to AUC over D, where uh, AUC in area under the curve and D in uh, administered dose. Okay, thank you for listening to me, and I know and. I will reach here and another session will fall.